Hi, I'm personal trainer Lauren Kern. And I'm Jennifer Stano David. Today, my trainer Lauren Kern is going to take me through a full body workout that will take about 15 to 30 minutes of your time that you could do anytime, anywhere. And the first exercise that we're going to start with is a lower body exercise called the inchworm. All you need is an exercise mat. We're going to begin with our feet slightly wider than our hips. You want to shift all of your weight onto your heels and stick your butt out until you feel like you're going to fall backwards. Next, we're going to fold down with a nice flat back. Fall forward onto your hands on the mat. Walk all the way out into a push-up position. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Walk yourself back. Get all of your weight onto your heels again. Arch your lower back and come up with a nice flat back. All right, Jen, your turn. All right, all right, so a little bit further than shoulder width yeah. apart. Butt out, all your weight on your heels, nice flat back. Walk out slow, squeeze everything. Walk back, nice flat back, arch it, yeah. Try to come back up to a standing position a little bit slower, good. Almost like really sticking your chest out. Yeah. Yes, you are <laughs> almost think about lifting yourself up in your chest. That ensures that you'll keep your back flat and not round. So come up even. Good. You want to make sure that you push off from both hands at the same time so that you don't lift from one side of your spine before the other. Let's try it one more time. Okay. So your hands should push off in the same spot. Arch your back. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and rest. Okay. So we're going to repeat the inchworm for 20 repetitions before moving on to our next exercise, the single leg step up. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is a single leg step up. All we need is a nice sturdy foundation to step up on. Let's begin with our left leg forward. Now drive into the glute, the hamstring, and the quad. We just want to come to a full standing position, squeeze your glutes at the top, and step right back down again. You want to make sure not to be jumping off of the right leg. Rather, use the force from the left leg only. We're gonna perform this exercise for 20 reps on the left leg before switching legs and doing it all over again. All right, Jen, let's go. Right leg up. Big little squeeze at the top. Oh, Looks great. Close your eyes. How does it feel? So once again, just 20 reps on each leg. Now we're gonna move on to our next exercise, the exercise band lat pull down. So using our exercise band, we're gonna hold our arms up straight overhead, and you wanna put a little bit of tension on the band, and you're gonna pull your hands behind your head, and squeezing from your lats, you wanna pull all the way down behind your head. Good, squeeze those shoulders down and back, uh -huh. all the way back up again, and squeeze. And every time you pull down, pull the band a little bit wider to create extra tension in the lats here. Good. Just so you know, this is something I've never done before. And you're doing great. So it's a very simple exercise and effective because I feel already. Awesome. So 
So we're just gonna repeat this exercise for at least 20 repetitions. If 20 reps is easy, you wanna keep on going, just go ahead and take it to failure. All right, next we're gonna do an exercise band military press. You just wanna center the band under one foot, bring your hands up to your shoulders, and flip your, your hands forward. You're gonna press all the way up overhead, straight in the arms, focusing on using the front and the sides of your shoulders. Now, since Jen doesn't have the strength in her shoulders yet to do this in a standing position, I'm gonna show her an easier way. So Jen, all I'm gonna have you do is come down, same thing, center the band, come down to one knee, flip your hands forward, same exercise, but a little bit easier. Okay. So here you go. It does not matter which foot you've got forward. So in a lunge, basically. Mm -hmm. And you want the band to go behind your elbows, exactly. Okay. Okay, elbows should line up nicely with the sides of your tummy. Press all the way up, straightening and all the way down. So bring it all the way down. Mm -hmm. Full range of motion. Good. Focus on pressing through the front and the side of your shoulder. This is a good exercise for building up the definition of these nice little shoulder caps, which Jen has very nice ones. And we're gonna go for 20 reps at least. And don't forget that you can order your bands from my online store. Oh my god, okay, last two. Alright. Last one, press all the way up, straighten those arms, and go ahead and relax. Awesome. That was a good one. So our last exercise is gonna be a single leg bicycle. Great exercise for targeting the obliques once again. Jen, I'm gonna have you come down, lay on your back. Okay. All right. One leg straight and one knee is all the way up at your tummy. Hands are behind your head. Make sure to keep your elbows nice and wide. I'm gonna have you crunch all the way up, bringing your right elbow to your left knee. Come all the way back down again. Left elbow to your left knee. Good. And back down. Now try to twist more from the obliques and less from the shoulders. So keep those hands nice and wide. Two, good. this is three. And let's just take it to 12. Four. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Make sure that the abs are engaged. Five. Good. All right. So after performing 12 repetitions, 12 on the right, 12 on the left, we're gonna go ahead and switch legs and repeat the exercise for another 12 reps. So one circuit is going to include the stiff leg walkouts, also called inchworms, for a set of 20, followed by single leg step ups, 20 on the right, 20 on the left. Next, the overhead uh, exercise band lap pull down, 20 plus reps, followed by at least 20 of the military presses with the exercise band, and then the single leg bicycles, the ab exercise, 12 reps, left, right, switch legs, 12 reps, left, right, take a breather, repeat this circuit two more times. This workout should take you about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your pace. I like to go a little bit slower, so it may take me 45, whereas Lauren's the pro, she'll complete this in 15 to 30 minutes. So come back, join us next time for our third video of 10. See you later. Bye.